this is here is your question the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand of a clock when the time is 420 four options are also given the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand of a clock when the time is 420 so when we talk about 420 it will be like this Minute hand will be in 20 and hour hand will be between 4 and 5. So, this is 420. This time is 420. What is given in the question? When the time is 420, what is the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand? So, we need to find out this angle. Hour hand and minute hand. This angle is how much? That is the question. I am telling you how to solve these type of questions very quickly. Within seconds, you can find out the answer. So, that method is what we are going to tell uh, use now. So, here you can see 420 is the time. Understand the concept very clearly, students. 420 is the time. 420. What I want to tell you is from here, if you see, this is 1, this is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, minute is 5. 10 20 5 10 15 and 20 20 minutes and 4 20 is a time so for, from this every 5 minutes every every one number there is a 5 minute 5 minute 5 minute 5 minute so what we are going to do now we are converting this 4 also into minutes converting that 4 multiplied by this 5 converting that 4 multiplied by 5 because we are not finding out the time here we are finding out the angle here we are finding out the angle so this this needle is just after 4 so multiply this 4 by 5 we will get 20 4 multiplied by 5 we will get 20 and the minute here is also 20 what what i what i did understand very clearly 420 is the time given in the question 420 is the time given in the question that 4 is multiplied by 5 to make 20 and this minute this is also 20 given in the question so 20 minute 20 minute we got we are converting this 4 into minute by multiplying by 20 <coughs> why we are multiplying by 25 because every one number we will get 5 minutes 5 minutes 5 minutes 5 minutes so we are multiplying by 5 so here also 20 here also 20 students understand it very clearly if the difference between these two are zero there is no difference between these two minute if the difference between these two numbers are zero the answer is obtained just by dividing this by two so when you divide this number by two you get 10 degree so 10 degree is the answer so the angle between these two the angle between these two needles this angle will be 10 degree so from the given options you can mark the correct answer understand very clearly what i did let me let me repeat that step once again so that it becomes very clear to you here the number is what the num the, the time is 420 so we have taken 420 here then this minute is written as it is 20 is 20 only this 4 is multiplied by 5. 4 into 5, we are writing 20 here. Now, see what is this difference? This difference is nothing. 20 and 20, there is no difference. Difference is 0. If both these numbers are equal, if both these numbers are equal, your answer is just to divide this number by 2 to get answer 10 degree. So, 10 degree is the correct answer from the given options. So, this way you can find out the angle between minute hand and hour hand. Okay. So, now every question, you will not get a number like this. 
there will be some difference between the minutes here we have 20 and 20 same number but there will be some questions where you will have different numbers so what will happen so we'll go to a question second type of questions so kindly note it so here is your question what's the question find the angle between made by the hour hand and minute hand at time 840 so here the time is 840 so let us draw that so suppose this is your clock and the time is here it is 8 7 and time will be 840 like so this is a time 840 and this angle is what you need to find out the time is 840 so students we have two different methods to find out these type of questions I'll explain to you both the method I will explain to both the method whichever is easy for you follow that okay we have two different methods to solve these type of questions one is a concept based CBE concept build exercise and the second one is a formula based approach concept building exercise and the second approach is a formula based approach i am explaining to you both whichever one is whichever is easy for you follow that first we will go with a formula what is a basic formula to find out all these type of question is understand this formula the formula is 30h minus 11 by 2m 30h minus 11 by 2m not this formula very very important all these type of questions you can solve using this formula 30 h minus 11 by 2 m h stands for hour hand and m stands for minute h and m h for hour and m for minute so 30 h minus 11 by 2 m just remember this formula that's it now what's the question given here the find the angle between the two needles when the time is 8.40. Here time is 8.40. So how is what? How is 8? So multiply that here. 30 into 8 minus 11 by 2. 11 by 2 into minute is how much? 40. 3, 30 into 8. 3 eights are 24. 240 minus. Cut this 2 and 40. 20 times. 20 into 11. 220. 240 minus 220. You got the answer 20 degree. So 20 degree is the angle between these two hands, hour hand and minute hand. From the given options, you can mark which is the correct answer. This method of solving these type of questions are called formula based approach formula based approach we are using a formula here so any type of question students if you have this type of questions in your competitive exam you can simply apply this formula 30h minus 11 by 2m understand remember this formula and just apply it h stands for hour and m stands for minute so 30 into h 30 into 840 is the time given 840 is a time given so 8 is the hour 40 is the minute so h will come here m will come here so 30 into 8 minus 11 by 2 into 20 this 11 by 2 will not change this 30 will not change h and m according to questions you can put so 240 minus 220 20 minutes this is the formula based approach so you can note it the second method is cbe concept building approach concept building exercise so using that how you can solve the same question so let us solve it using concept building if you if you don't remember the formula suppose i have given you a formula 30 h minus 11 by 2 m so using that formula you can easily find out you can easily solve all these type of questions but Suppose you don't remember the formula, what is the way to find out the answer? For that, the time given is how much? The time given is 840. So let me write that 840 here. Now what is the step? Understand very clearly. This 40 you have to write as it is. Minute. 40, write the same 40. 840 is the time given. So 840, write the 40 as it is. 8 multiply by 5 you write 40 
8 multiplied by 5, you write 40. These two numbers are same you got. There is no difference. The same way we have done the previous question. If there is no difference, just divide this by 2. So 40 by 2, you got answer 20. So accordingly, you can mark the correct answer. But I told you every time these two numbers will not be same. There will be some difference. Some questions, there will be some difference. So what will we will do? If there is no difference, you can just divide this by 2. If there is no difference, here it is 40, here also it is 40. So there is no difference. So you can divide that by 2. So you can divide that by 2 to get the answer. But every question students, you will not get the same number. There will be differences. Okay. So what we will do? That is what we are going to see in the next question. So kindly note it. Okay. So let us go to the next question. Okay. This question will give you the complete concept. Okay. So here is our question. What is the question? The angle, find the angle made by hour hand and minute hand at time 620. At time 620. So let us write that first. Okay. So this is 6, 12, 5, 4, 3, 620. So 620 means it will be like this 20 minute and 6. Our hand will be a little smaller. So this angle is what we need to find out. 620 is the time. So every time you need not to draw all these things, these all are only for explanation. Once you get the time, you can easily find out that. Here, what is the time? 620. So I told you we, have, we can use either formula method or you can use concept building exercise. Formula method is what? Formula method is 30H minus 11 by 2 M. So put that value 30 into H, H is 6 minus 11 by 2 into M, M is 20. Here hour is 6, minute is 20. So 30 into 6, 180 minus, you can cut this 2 and this 20, 10 times, 11 into 10, 110. So 180 minus 110, you get the answer 70 degree. So 70 degree is the correct answer. This angle between these two handles it is 70 degree accordingly you can mark the correct option but let me let me tell you the other method now what is other method the concept building method here 620 is the time so let me write that 620 here now what we will do we will write this 620 the 20 as it is we will write this is the second method 20 as it is we will write so 20, 20 only. The 6 we will multiply by, the 6 we will multiply by 5. 6 into 5, we got 30. So now you can see there is a difference. There is a difference. What is the difference between 30 and 20? What is the difference between 30 and 20? 10 is the difference. So that 10 multiplied by 6 plus half of this 20 by 2. Half of this. 10, 10 into 6. 10 into 6 is 60 plus 10, 20 by 2, 10. 60 plus 10, the answer will be 70 degree. Understand very clearly what we have to do. The time given is 620. So we have written that 620 here. After writing the 620, the minute 20, you can write the same way. 20 is 20 only. The 6 is multiplied by 5, 6 into 5, 30. Here, in the previous question, we have seen there is no difference. 20, 20, 40, 40, like that same number came. So, we have just divided this by 2. But here, there is a difference. Here, it is 30. Here, it is 20. So, difference is 10. The 10 is multiplied by 6. So, we got 60. And 20 divided by 2, we got 10. So adding these two, you got 70. Here also you got 70. Here also you got 70. So 70 degree is the correct answer. So what I actually want to tell you, you use any method. You use formula method or you use concept building method. Your answer will be same. But both the methods are very, very important. Whichever is easy for you, you can follow that. So all the all these type of questions, you can easily clear with this concept. Okay. So next time when you go for the competitive exams like RRB, banking or uh, staff selection commission, 
these questions are very easy for you very very easy for you okay let us go for one more question the find the angle between the minute hand and hour hand of a clock when the time is 8 30 okay so the time is 8 30 so here you have 8 so the time 8 30 means it will be like this this angle is what you have to find out angle between hour hand and minute hand this is hour hand this is minute hand the angle between hour hand minute hand at the time 8 30 so again both the methods we know we can the time given is 8 30 let us use the first method what's the first method formula method that is 30 h minus 11 by 2 m 30 into h 8 minus 11 by 2 into m 30 so 30 into 8 240 minus you can cut this you can cut this 15 times so 15 into 11 15 into 10 150 plus 165 mental calculations so now 240 minus 65 240 minus 65 will be equal to 75 degree this method we got the answer 75 let us see whether the answer is correct or not using the second method what is our second method 830 is the time 830 so we will write this 30 as it is 30 is 30 only this 8 we will multiply by 5 we get 40 the difference between 30 and 40 is 10 10 multiplied by 6 plus half of this 30 by 2 so 10 into 6 60 plus 30 by 2 15 so we got the answer 75 degree so both the method we are getting the same answer 75 degree and 75 degree accordingly you can mark the correct option so I'm, i hope this concept is very very clear for you okay so if you want the full sample paper you can download it it from our app trace the learning app okay download the app from play store and the link is also given in the description you can download the app and you can download the complete question paper for the topic problems based on clock okay so we will meet in the next class with a new topic take care bye bye